Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I make my own baby puree. We started weaning Oliver at five and a half months and because we were doing it a little bit early because of his reflux, we wanted to start on purees rather than going down the whole baby-led route. So we started off just giving him pouches and the little baby bars, um, but we quickly found out how expensive they are. We realised that we really need to make our own. We were sent the Biaba Baby Cook, um, which is a four-in-one baby, baby food maker. So it steams, um, blends, reheats and defrosts, I think that's the four. Um, but I'm just going to show you how to steam and blend um, to make your own puree. But I've tried lots of different combinations so far. Um, I think the best way, there's lots of forums and um, like things online that you can get ideas from, but um, I found the best thing to do is just to copy what you would buy in the shop. So I'll normally just use the same kind of combinations because in those first two to three weeks we found out what Oliver likes and we know that his favourites are like sweet potato, banana, pears, he loves pears and he actually really likes broccoli. Today I'm going to be making sweet potato, carrot and pear and blending them all together and I'm going to try and make quite a lot so that I can freeze some of them as well. potato and carrot here. Just cut it up into small pieces. I'm just going to give them a quick rinse and then I'll show you how to put them into the baby cook. So this is the baby cook. This is where you put in the food to be steamed in here. And this is a jug that has the blender in it, the blade in it, sorry, to blend. And there are numbers here on the sides that you use to measure how much water you should put in for steaming. So um, we are going to put in up to three just because we've got potatoes in there and they take a bit longer. So the water just gets poured in here and then I'm just going to add in my sweet potato and carrot mix and you just pull this down in place, make sure this is tight over and press the button. So it normally takes about 15 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes to fully steam and in that time I'm just going to cut up some pear. <laughs> which means it's finished so you just pull this here and pull it out and then you've got all the water which you can use to make the puree with so next you just tip the sweet potato and carrot mixture in here and I'm just adding the pear as well next there's a lid that you just put on the top then just pop it back on this takes a wee bit of getting used to because it doesn't connect too easy but you get it and then lock it into place and then you just turn the button you can just do it in 10 second pulses to get the thickness that you want <laughs> Once it's done, you've got your puree in here and there's a spatula that you can use just to take it out. So that is how we make our own baby puree. And the baby cook really, really easy to use. It kind of takes care of everything that you need. It's also really, really easy to clean. Definitely say, make sure you rinse it out as soon as you've used it so that you don't have to get in underneath the blade to pick out any dry food. It's not a good task. I would definitely recommend trying this if you're thinking of making your own baby purees and you want to avoid the hassle of boiling or steaming it and then using a hand blender. The baby cook means that you can do all the chopping, put it in the steamer and just get on with whatever else you're doing and come back to it just to hit the blend button. It is so simple. If you've enjoyed watching this video, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Thanks very much for watching. Bye bye.